Hey, good morning. It's day four. We're at Estancia del Zorro. We switched lodges last night. Okay, so this is the Valley of the Moon. The river we're gonna fish is down in the bottom of that. With the Mimi Beetle right there. Hey, we're cruising along. How long's the drive, Hector? One hour from here. But now we are, yeah, one hour, one hour. A... Stanley's in the back. It's a four-wheel drive. Stanley, I thought you would want to sit in the front on the way there, in the back on the way home so you could sleep on the way back. <laughs> now I get <laughs> rights to the back so I can yeah. sleep. <laughs> we fish all long, hard days. Too much after. <laughs> We fished long, hard days, and so the back seat we found is good because then you can sleep uh, peacefully. Nobody expects anything out of you when you're in the back. Uh, anyway, beautiful drive. Learned quite a bit. What do you see up there? Eagles. Eagles? Where are they at? Oh, right there in the tree. Oh, here I am looking high in the sky. Chilean eagles. Anyway, yeah, this place is nice. Nice. Oh, there's a ton of them. Yeah. Yeah, I like, wish I brought some binoculars. There must be 10 eagles there. Okay, so this is the Valley of the Moon. The river we're going to fish is down in the bottom of that. Called the Mimiwau. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right anyway. It's absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go down there and go fishing. Um, really looking forward to this, learning a ton. And uh, see for yourself, pretty cool adventure. Hector's checking in with the property manager back behind us before we get on this creek. I like that he just gave her a nice smooch on the cheek, yeah. saying hi, what's up, we're gonna come fishing now. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, we're on this. Huge valleys, just spectacular. So, gracias, gracias. So anyway, looks that looked like it went well. So we're gonna go fishing now. Okay, so I'm out here on the creek. I know it's super windy. I'm trying to shield the mic. Uh, beautiful. Uh, I'm fishing kind of the more challenging stuff right now. I'm basically crawling up along these pockets there's a spring creek with all these weeds and then it opens up every now and then to a pool like that right there so I'm crawling on my hands and knees up and then popping little shots into that pool and I've so far I've had one brown bite a be big beetle um, fishing this beetle right there and I've had one take on that and one take on a streamer. So I'm going to crawl up on this next one and see what happens. But uh, I've only been fishing about 15, 20 minutes and already had one nice take. So things are looking good so far. Okay. Lunch time. Ugh, pretty tough fishing. I'm laying on a couch at this Estancia, this house that... Hector, do you know the owner here? Maybe. Maybe in front of you. I don't believe you know the owner. I think you just... <laughs> set us up in this house there's this house that nobody's at right now that Hector knows the owner so we're in this cool sunroom here Hector's hooking us up with some lunch yeah that's awesome some soup <clears throat> anyway um, yeah it's super windy we're spring creek fishing hoping for some larger fish this morning I just saw one fish Stanley didn't was not able to move any nothing so far so <clears throat> chili is not like easy fishing like it, it is not no no it's uh really easy it's real fly fishing yeah here you need work here yeah try long cast better presentation you know it's noisy the conditions sometimes the wind it's hard very hard 
Yeah. yeah. Humbling. It is humbling. <laughs> But we're going to turn things around in the afternoon. What's the name of the creek we were on? Uh, now we fish the uh, Nidewan uh, River. By the morning, we fish the Kahuna. That it was fun. That was called the Kahuna. We were fishing a slough and uh, connected to a spring creek. I didn't get the slough on video just because it was so windy out there. When you wouldn't have been able to hear any narration or anything. Now we're going. We're really going to the Nidewan now. Well, now we fish the spring creek now. We're going to fish the spring creek. Spring Creek River. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're going to Spring Creek River. Before we were fishing kind of a slough. It's basically just a spring. It just yeah. boils right yeah. out of the ground. It's like 15 feet deep or more. You, I mean, you couldn't even see the bottom. It was pretty cool. Uh, we were targeting some larger fish, which we did see some of the big fish rising, but we just weren't able to catch them, unfortunately. So, anyway, we're going to do some grub, and then we're going to head to the Nidiwa and catch some fish. Yeah. All right. Good. Well. I know it's super windy. It's crazy windy. It's Patagonia, man. So here we are. We are just got done having lunch at this house. We're heading through this gate right here down to this creek that supposedly is going to have some kick-ass hopper fishing. Um, really looking forward to that. So let's take a look at this creek here. It's just beautiful. Snow-capped peaks everywhere. Oh. This looks awesome. Beautiful. There we go. Check back in a few. This is more my style right here. The slough is getting a little boring. Well, day four really became kind of a vlog. There wasn't a lot of fishing action that I could actually film. It was horrifically windy, and the camera I had been uh, filming with ended up getting a little bit wet when I caught a fish earlier, and I was trying to get uh, a little video of it. Anyway, uh, this is uh, uh, the the Niwa Niwa <laughs> Niawa uh, Niawa Niawa Niawa. Neowau, that's it, the Neowau River. <laughs> uh, Neowau, got it. Uh, can't pronounce any of these rivers. There's like 50 of them down here uh, that the group's gonna fish throughout this week. Anyway, it's been a wonderful day. Uh, as you can see, the weather's spectacular. Uh, we're at this ranch uh, about an hour from Estancia del Zorro where we're staying. Uh, caught a lot of fish, not really anything of great size. I'll throw a still photo in of the one I just landed, uh, but I fished about five hours by myself this afternoon, so it's kind of tough to take in video and do all that, but uh, when the hoppers are on, this place is awesome. The last fish I landed was just on a hopper, and the action's picking up, but I think the weather being cold, as you can see, I'm wearing an insulated vest and a, a jacket. Uh, the weather's still kind of chilly. It's early summer here, but I think when the hoppers pick up, this place is insane. The pools are... There's pools that are 100 yards long and 15 feet deep, uh, and it's really tough to get those fish to come up for dries, and a lot of those pools are really slow. It's a spring creek. It's really hard to get the fish to come up to a dry fly, uh, but when those hoppers and those beetles start hitting later in the year when the weather heats up, I think it could be amazing. So we're pretty much just going to wrap this up uh, as far as day four goes. A um, lot of trout great uh, opportunity for just pure numbers of trout whereas most of the place we're fishing down here we're targeting bigger fish so it was kind of nice to be able to just put a bunch of fish to hand today um, and on mostly dries I did run a dropper for a bit just to kind of see what was there and see what I was missing but then in the afternoon they did start to take the dry fly more than the hopper so uh, then I took the dropper off um, and didn't catch much on a streamer the water's super clear uh, here and I think it's more of just a dry fly game they see the dry fly plop hit the water and then they they come get it pretty quick right after that so anyway that's pretty much it for day four unless the next couple of casts something amazing happens uh but that'll wrap it up for now